speaking with Coach Sampson at AAC Media Day. Every year I think I ask you this question. What are your thoughts on the preseason poll and you being picked third? Um, well, the short answer is I don't care. Um, never paid much attention to that. Don't really use it for any other reason. Um, if you were to ask me, put a truth serum in me, ask me where we were picked last year, I couldn't tell you. So uh, that's definitely neither here nor there to me. How has practice going so far? Practice is, um, you know, when you have extended time for practice, the, the uh, thing that most people don't realize is how many, especially when you practice as hard as we do, um, how many nicks and knacks you have. You know, we've yet to have our full complement of players um, at any one practice. You know, when we get somebody back, you know, Seth's been out, uh, Fabian's been out, uh, and a couple other guys missed a day here and there. Dejan's been out, Chris has been out. Um, not the entire time, just just saying out. One day we had four guys out. You know, and uh, you know, I'm not really fired up to watch our managers run through some of our skeleton offense or defense. Um, there's reason they're managers. Um, so, you know, we've just had to have all hands on deck here. Um, but we've gotten a lot of work in too. You know, I've been really pleased with our senior leadership. Um, been really, really uh, pleased with the progress of our, our players. You know, we tell our players that the offseason is when they develop. You know, and, and um, I think our coaching staff uh, does a great job of that. You know, we, you know, we're not going to recruit some of the five-star guys that everybody thinks that everybody should should get. There's a reason why those guys go to certain schools. But we tell our kids that we're going to develop you um, uh, into a much better player. And if you want to be the best player you can be, that's one of the reasons why you should choose Houston. And so guys like Galen Robinson, I look at him as a freshman, and I look at him today, how much better he's gotten. You know, Corey Davis was kind of an unknown to a lot of people last year, except the coaching staff. And he, kind of, he kind of burst onto the scene. But, you know, June, July, August, uh, all the way through to June, July, August, September, October uh, is, is really heavy, heavy development months. And then, uh, and then we work on our team. So, um, you know, one of the reasons why we were successful last year is we can come at you in waves. You know, especially on the front line with with uh, Brian and Devin and Fabian and uh, Nura and Chris. That's, that's five quality guys. Obviously, Devin being uh, a, a different level, maybe. But uh, uh, in the backcourt this year, I think we have five really good guards. Uh, Galen, Corey, Armani, Dejan, and Nate. You know, we, we think that's, that's a strength that we can use having those five guys. But up front, we feel good about uh, the five we have up front, too, with uh, Fabian and Devin, um, Breon, Bryson, and Chris. So I don't know that the strength of our team will be one guy. I, I think the strength of our team will be our depth and uh, how we can rotate some really good players. You talked about Nate. What are your thoughts on Nate being preseason conference freshman of the year? Um, I don't know. I, I, I don't even know who the other freshmen in the league are, so it's hard for me to quantify that. But I think that speaks to uh, Nate's summer that he had before we signed him. Uh, Nate had a tremendous summer. He played on the Adidas circuit, um, kind of blew up, heavily recruited kid. Um, but the thing I love about Nate is he's humble, he's uh, hardworking. Um, you know, we started practice October 2nd, and I thought he had uh, by far uh, his best practice uh, Saturday uh, over at TSU. We practiced over at Texas Southern on uh, Saturday. Uh, it was his best practice. But the uh, thing that helps him, though, is our seniors. I'm telling you, man, you, you can't win without senior leadership. Last year it was Wes. Rob, Devin, and Nura. Those four seniors were critical to that team's success, just like this year with uh, Galen, Corey, and uh, Breon. That's what programs do. You know, they pass it down to the next class. 
uh, next year's this year's junior class will be next year's senior class. But um, um, excited about Nate. He's a versatile kid. Doesn't really have a position. I can think he. I think he can play four positions. I think he played one, two, three, or four. Uh, if we want to go small, because he can rebound. Um, but you know, he's uh, he's just got to keep growing. You know, it's, uh, the freshmen don't know what they don't know. I mean, the key is to get them to understand that. Uh, so it's a process, but uh, Nate's going to be really good.